Okay, how's everybody doing? Uh, well, got some more cars done, and uh, this time it is a mostly Verney uh, sponsored month. And uh, so all of these cars are, well, almost all of them are tombstone equipped, and uh, they've got droppers, and uh, they're, you know, kind of a hidden tech where uh, Michigan is the flashy tech and uh, so I uh, wanted to show these off and I think they turned out pretty darn well and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start with this one here because uh, this one kind of answers the, the question about do you need to strip the paint on your cars and uh, you know not always because when I saw these cars, uh, all these are candy bar, except, well, sweet tarts, but um, candy themed. And uh, so you, you have the Butterfinger, the Almond Joy, and the sweet tarts. And so I thought, you know, they would make a good team together as a performance car, car, and ice cream truck. And so that's pretty much what I did. They all have the uh, rocket thruster perk. Um... And they all have roll cage, so if they flip, they don't take damage. And when they do flip, they can use the rocket thrusters to uh, kind of change their trajectory a bit. So, that's all well and good. And I wanted to kind of point out, uh, a lot of these cars, I just coated them with you know, Mod Podge so the paint would stick. When I did the rust and the dust and, you know, the typical Gaslands uh, paint that you would do this one really turned out well uh i wrote the whole nobody better lay a finger line on there and it's 23 because if i'm not mistaken 1923 is when the butterfinger was invented and uh i did that for all these cars you know 62 46 that's the year that the candy bar came out and um so various little rocket things out of my bits box you know and uh again verney cars they usually have the the tombstone in the back and uh, that's the kind of the extra armor uh what they what verney has is a perk called uh microplate for so for six cans you get two free hull and you don't have to spend a slot on it like you would do normal armor plating so you've got a fairly good defensive uh, team. The tombstone also makes it so if anyone's shooting at your back end, they hit you on fives instead of fours. So they're a tougher team than most in the waste. And I would say that out of all the sponsors in Gaslands, Rutherford and Verney are probably the two easiest to understand to play. Um... Big thing about Verney is you get your audience votes through your drop weapons. And so you can see here, Butterfinger has the mines, you know, these mine canisters. And this one has, you know, uh, these little, these are dollhouse Coke cans. Once you take the, the, the thing off of them, uh, they look like trash cans to me. So they fit the wasteland. So this is going to be Maypalm, this could be Mines, this could be Caltrops, whatever you want them to be. Uh, I got the bombs on the side to kind of say that, you know, these are Mines. So, you know, it's it's got the the, the Mine Dropper tank. Uh, and uh, so, the, the big thing Verney does lack is they don't really have a... Because your slots are limited to a degree, you don't have a lot of... Uh, access to a lot of the firepower that other teams do that doesn't necessarily mean you're defenseless but so this one here has got these two big lighters um and uh, i use those from again mine droppers or they could be cow drops because you can imagine that these uh pieces here uh screw off and fall off and then all the goodies fall out of it and uh so this is a pike's peak celica uh, didn't do much, I didn't do really any rust on this one as much as I just did um, dirt, grime, and a little bit of sludge kind of build up in the 
the recesses of it. And uh, so, I mean, it's, you know, once you put the Mod Podge on it and then you, you do your typical model painting, yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to strip them down to the bare metal. Especially when you got a good car that you want, if you like the paint scheme, yeah, you don't have to mess with it. Um, but yeah. Those rockets came off of a, uh, a little RC car I had from when I was a child, and those little things have been the only thing that ever survived it, so. And uh, this one is uh, Final Faction rockets, and I think that's Final Faction, too. But you can see here the, the sweet tarts. Uh, I painted the wheels to match the, the body, added the, the decals and, uh, you know, the weaponry. And this is uh, armor plating made from a yogurt lid. So you can get your probiotics while you're making death machines. And uh, so I get my hand out of the way here. I, I still like to play with these cars. You know, 38 years old and I still like to play with little Hot Wheels cars and roll them around and go... But, uh, and if anybody tells you that they don't do that and they're playing this game, they're lying. But, uh, yeah, so sometimes you feel like a nut. And, uh, on this one, the only thing I really didn't like how this one turned out was I did the, the glow effect on the thrusters, and, uh, I was trying to make it look like a nuclear glow and. I'm probably going to redo that, uh, but I do like how the burn-in, you know, off the spoiler looks, so. Other than that, I'm still happy with it. That, and the only other thing, you can't, you can't see the crew in there. Let me put crew in there. There's a gunner in there, and then there's the driver inside the roll cage. Um, this here was originally clear, so you could see down into it once I... I painted that. It, it took that away. So um, this one here again is mostly a, a Civil War guy and a uh, trying to think of a Dark Alliance figure, and I kind of hot podged the two together to make the driver and the gunner. Um, and the roll cage is uh, spare monster truck pieces that I had laying around and uh, some strainer so the other one that I, I didn't change the paint too much um, was this one this is the Chevy Silverado uh, again you see the flames this would have been a good one for Idris too but uh, napalm mantra because you know you kind of follow the logic of the, the fuel going up into here and then this thing once you napalm out um, machine gun up front, just in case, um, uh, again, and to keep it kind of cheap. You got crew-fired weapons, and it's got a tombstone as well. And, uh, so yeah. Again, once I covered it with Mod Podge, the, the rust effects stick right on it. You can paint the headlights, the taillights, and the detail work, and everything that turned out well. And, uh, of course, I took this apart to paint the interior and everything, so, you know. It turned out really well. I'm really happy with this one. And this one, I like this casting because it comes with a motorcycle. And so, this is Chief Hayabusa. Uh, that's the best name I've came up with so far. <laughs> um, but the idea of a Native American, a big, bulky, buff Native American at that, on a... Uh, this kind of bike. I know some people probably would think it should be a, like a chopper or an Indian motorcycle, but I didn't have one. So I was just kind of messing around and uh, I had this 3D printed Native American figure and he fit perfectly on it. And so I had to the, change the arms around. Um, the arms come off of a, a Civil War figure and a um, Dark Alliance figure. And then um, I took really thin strips of yogurt lid and made the armor plating since this bike has micro plate armor. So, you know, he's got the, the big 
armored shoulder pads and uh he's got the belt of mines to throw down on somebody so uh i really like how this one turned out uh it, i was originally thinking about maybe doing this one for uh the car of the month as the uh, the big boss uh, for December, and uh, I, just, I, I was like, eh, motorcycles never win that competition, and it's, it's a shame, but, uh, so I talked myself out of that, and this one here, I think, is either going to be Rutherford or Michigan, uh, it's the one exception to the, the Verney thing, uh, I just put this together on a whim, because I, I've been, ha I had the, uh, the body laying around, and, uh, some of the parts and just I just glued some things together on um there really was no purpose <laughs> I was just gluing stuff together and it turned into this and uh overall I kind of like how it looks though uh I like how the purple and the, the green work uh it's kind of like a neon genesis evangelion kind of thing on the on a gray pickup truck so it's got a clash to it that I, I like and then you've got like this machine girl in the back um with the uh toolbox to be a mobile mechanic or you know they're just to repel borders i'm not sure what i would call this but it's basically twin combat lasers and a minigun so that's uh 27 no 25 10 it's 50 it's it's a 30 point <laughs> 30 can build right off the bat so it's pricey, but uh, you definitely would not want to be in front of this thing directly in front of it because it, it would put on some hurt. And uh, so, might sell that one. I'm not for sure if I'll sell it or keep it. But then we got this helicopter here, and uh, I know it's a little fl it's flying a little low for where the, the propellers would be, but I can add another one of these X-wing flight sticks to build it up didn't do much with this one just added the armor plating and painted the pilot on the, the inside i mean it's a little hard to see in there but he is painted and uh when i was taking this thing apart i drilled through the base and through the windshield so there was a massive hole in the uh, uh hole in the windshield so i uh made a impromptu patch which i you know, it's kind of wastelandy um yeah uh probably not practical in the long run but uh gaslands really isn't a practical thing <laughs> and uh so it's got this little tiny gun at the front to, to represent the uh, 360 degree handgun that the crew would have, and you know it's got the bombs for mines, and put a little wasteland spike on the side, so it's still got a, that gasland theme to it, and but uh, yeah, so that's my little gyrocopter for Vernie, and gyrocopters are really good for Vernie because. Drop weapons use up no slots on gyrocopters. So you could have a take an extra crew and then take two drop weapons and put one on the side and one on the back and, and well, uh, one side mounted and one rear mounted and uh, you could drop both in the same turn thanks to another one of Vernie's perks. And you can create a lot of hazards. So... You can't win a death race with it, but you can be a good nuisance. And sometimes being a, a, a nuisance is a good thing. When they're shooting at the gyrocopter and not your sports car, it's a win. And then I got these two here. This is the Owl. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to name the, the Supra yet. But and again, both these are Verney. This one is Improvised Sludge Thrower and Mines. And you got a guy here with a bow and arrow uh, hanging out the window. And, uh, I like these two cars together because they kind of have some very similar profiles, despite one being a BMW and one being a Toyota Supra. 
they've got that long nose flat front uh slanted back end and then it just tapers off into a, a flat back end and uh so they work good as a teammate i uh, i think and uh you can see here this one's got the this tombstone and um yeah it's got the rubber tires and i'm still not super happy with uh the orange paint job uh i've tried a few different techniques i've tried uh a brown undercoat a pink undercoat white um it still takes uh, so many coats of orange to get a, a solid coat where you can't see the base coat and the primer that it ends up always chunky and i hate that but i love orange as a color so i keep trying different things rust doesn't like orange either because you can see here I, I tried rust effects and uh rust does not show up on orange very well at all and uh so that's a shame but the supra I, I like how it turned out uh again like i said I, I haven't really thought of a name for it It'd be a good miyazaki car too um but it's got the side mounted caltrop droppers and the rear mounted uh machine gun um these came off of an old resin gun carriage that i've had different bits and pieces of for years and it's the old resin the old really super stinky yellow uh resin that um if you file it and breathe it in you can do some damage to your health <laughs> but um oh yeah it's it's this it's this kind of resin um you know this this resin was probably made before i was born so uh and this little tubing and stuff i've got but I don't like using it though because it's so it's so brittle. But then we got Mindbender. This is a Nova wagon. Um, did the uh, temporary tattoo method and got that on there. And um, got some old NASCAR kits. So I got some real world sponsors on on it just to make it look a little more realistic. Um, the mines on this one is just uh, clothing buttons. And uh, so these could be canisters that break open and drop the mines out, or they could be proximity mines themselves and just fall off the back and land. And But you got the guy here hanging out the window. Got the two side-mounted machine guns. This one, again, this one's the whole concept of this is to drop the mines, and if they go around it, then you can kind of shoot them with the, the side guns as they're coming around. Um, you know, basically making sh less of a, a safe zone. And then I got this one. This one is one I'm really happy with. Uh, this is a Mercury Comet Cyclone. And um, it's got the front-mounted machine guns, and it's got side-mounted caltrop droppers, and you got the guy in the, with the gas mask on, and his lady friend up here with the sniper rifle and the sniper nest on the back of the car, and uh, so she turned out well. I'm really happy how she turned out, and uh, the striping here on this one was done with uh rub on decals like you get on uh, pinewood derby cars i got a whole packs of them for like 99 cents so it's the you know it's a much bigger scale but for what was supposed to be a pin striping down the side of a car going across the hood and roof and everything and uh it works great you just you know put it on rub it on and uh uh, if you lift up before it's there, you can still kind of play with it and get the stuff that's stuck to the, uh, backside of the, the material onto it and rub it and get it really well. It's, it's not, it's easier than I'm making it out to sound, but 
Then you got this sign back here that says genuine Ford parts. Because Mercury is a Ford, you know, but... And uh, the 28 is a uh, uh, kind of a callback to a driver called uh, Fred Lorenzen. Never drove a Mercury that I'm aware of, but uh, and but I just like how it kind of reminded me of the the Fairlane that he drove. So I I ended up doing it that way. I like how it, that turned out. And uh, then we got Herbie the Love Tank, and uh, I've always wanted to do one of these. Uh, I I haven't seen the the remake that they did with I think Hannah Montana. Uh, I haven't seen that one, but I watched all the old uh, Disney ones. And uh, so I originally thought about doing this with an old Beetle, but I had this new Beetle, and uh, I kind of liked. It's got a feature where you pull this and you can take the the body off. And um, originally that's what I was going to do, but. This guy kept breaking his arm off every time I took it off, so... Uh, technically, I can remove the, uh, the the body off of this one, but if I do, I'll break this guy's arm off. So, uh, I don't do that. But it's not technically glued down. But this one is tank tracks and, you know, mines or whatever you want to use the, the trash cans for. And uh, yogurt lid armor... I uh, used the tips off of two LAS cannons to make the exhausts, or no, those are auto lasers. Um, multi, multi laser? Yeah, I think it's called multi laser. I haven't played 40k in years now, so you'll, you'll have to bear with me. Some of the old terms are, are starting to fade in the background. And I got the, this is technically just an armor plate, but the way I got it facing down, it makes it look. Kind of like it could be a smoke launcher or oil dropper. And um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Used some old Imperial Fist decals to get the circle right and then just painted it white. Um, then added the numbers. And uh, did the pinstriping with uh, masking tape. And uh, I think it turned out really well. I'm really happy with how Herbie the Love Tank turned out. And, um, I think if this was a competition vehicle, I probably would have highlighted it a little bit more. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm still happy with it. It's really good, man. That's going to stay in my personal collection. And then, uh, we've got this one. And this is the, uh, Gaslands Car of the Month vehicle, uh, for December. This is the Big Boss. This is based off of 1935 Packard, which my dad actually owned one. And so it's got a lot of homages to Packard. Um, so it's got the green engine block. It's got, you know, the same kind of color that my dad's Packard was. Um, I didn't have a, anything that looked like a flying lady for the hood ornament, so I used this high elf. Uh, eagle phoenix thing it's kind of close to the look of the uh, flying lady i uh i thought about 3d printing one but um i just really ran out of time for thinking about that kind of stuff but used actual springs to make the suspension um so then try to muddy them up and make them look like they've been beat up and uh, I've got some stray hair here. Try to ignore that. But, uh, yeah. I got long hair, and I've got a dog and three cats, so stray hair tends to get everywhere. And that one's being stubborn. Okay. So, uh, this is the, the big feature of this vehicle is this red carpet. And it comes up, and... You know, so when it's in motion, it's tucked up here, and then when the crew needs to get out, it turns, and uh, my hand's in the way, so it's really hard to see, but then that's there, so it rolls out the red carpet for the boss, <laughs> and uh, this is just a magnet, so you can pull it, I can actually pull it off, and you can see here, and uh, 
all I did was I just buried the magnet in uh, underneath the two-part epoxy putty and uh, milliput. <laughs> That's what it's called. Uh, but so it's buried under milliput and then painted. So yeah, you know this thing could theoretically be used as an extra armor plate to protect the driver or the the boss. And then they got the shrunk down uh, dual uh, mini gun and uh, the Bambi hunted symbol on it. Um, I, I found that on a decal sheet. I had to use it. I just thought it was the funniest thing. And then we got the, uh, the hot babe of the boss, the secretary up there, um, uh, wearing just biker leather and a, and a sheet and, uh, and the whole top is a 32 Vicky. Uh, and I think it turned out really well. And, uh, then you got the bodyguard here, you know, she's got the, the duster and the, the pistol and the shotgun shells and I can see back here, detailed out her duster right now. It's trying to blur out here. Now you can see it better. So and then you got the back tire. And then you got what I've been calling the nepotism hire. You know, that person that's related to the boss that always gets a weird position that they're way underqualified for. So he's got the minigun and sitting up top on basically what's the turret. And uh, did all the chrome work here in the back. And you can kind of see where it's... It's got gold wheels, because, of course, the boss is going to have gold-plated wheels on his vehicle. He's not going to have, you know, cheap uh, wheels. And uh, so this is going to come down. And uh, this one here, this lifts off on a hinge, so it comes out. And you can see here, there's our boss. There's our driver. And... Uh, Boss has his black suit and his red tie and his bowler hat. And he's got his suitcase. He's got a gun hidden under the suitcase. He's got a manila envelope. Um, you know, give to somebody uh, for orders, you know. And uh, so, yeah, I, I like how this turned out. And, of course, it's like a burgundy royal red color interior. And, uh, so it just seals like that, and, uh, so, yeah, that's, that, that is my, uh, final build of December, and, uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out, um, it's, uh, it's a cap off for a, a very rough year for me, and, uh, so, that being said, uh, we've now got this one I'm going to talk about. And this one I got from Chris over at uh, Gaslands and NorCal. This is my, uh, this is what I got for Secret Santa. Um, along with uh, several other wonderful goodies. Uh, he sent me lots of pieces I can use. Uh, lots of uh, decals. Uh, this really wonderful keychain. Um, and... Uh, I mean, I, I could do a video on everything he sent me uh, alone, but I wanted to go over the car because I really like the car. And I like that it's, it's a real true Gaslands hodgepodge car because it's a it's a Chevy uh, Bel Air body. It's got a Hemi motor, so it's Mopar. And it's uh, on an international truck chassis. Um, and uh, it's got the, the front half barrels here. That uh, kind of make me think it's an exploding rim. And uh, these wonderful wheels. And then it's got the flamethrower. And uh, it's got uh, highly flammable. You got the oil dropper here at the back. Um, and then you got the, like, the church stained glass windows. And, and that is just wonderful touch. And you got the, the really good rust work. The, the weathering is top-notch. And, uh, 
I, it, this car is just beautiful. I love this car so much. So again, thank you guys so much over there. Thank you, Chris. I really appreciate this car. It's wonderful. And uh, so with that, um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, you can always feel free to comment. Um, and I'll try to keep doing more videos. Um, but I really do appreciate all the support you guys give me. And um, if you want to support me even more, I have a Etsy channel. I mean, Etsy channel. I have an Etsy store um, named King of Cats Crafts. And that is where you can get all sorts of Gaslands vehicles that I've made. And uh, so that helps me out a lot. And uh, I really appreciate it. And, uh, but anyway, Valentine's Day is coming up. So somewhere along the thing next month. And uh, so try not to go too crazy out there, people. And uh, take care. Be safe. And goodbye.